thoughts on a clock. For one, the journey had begun, old but young, his time to come. But soon enough, the clock struck two. The face must change, the music must too. So two began and played it cool. To some extent, he was a fool, but time it waits. For no one now, the clock ticks on to three and how a dandy time spent free in time but the hour of four was soon to chime the longest hour was spent at four but soon enough the clock crept lower the dance of four began to jive passing the floor from four to five five began with a great applaud but time is like a ticking bomb for five the time they went too fast. Soon six was blasted from the past. Six was fresh and played it well, but didn't hear the ringing bells. The chime that brought it to an end signaled seven to start it all again. Dear seven, he gave his all for what? The Time Lord's time. It did not stop. The bells did toll for eight one more, but not for long in Gallifrey's lore. Like hands of ice that were frozen in time, the clock followed once more and struck number nine. So short was the time that the clock struck nine. The adventures were cut short in time and space, but the clock carried on with tick and a talk, and soon it was striking upon ten o'clock. The tenth hour was long, with rich on its glow, but ten's time was up. He just didn't want to go. But time waits for no man, old ones or young, and ten became eleven. The final countdown began, and now it's time for one last bow. Like all your other selves, eleven's hour is over now. The clock strikes twelve. Alonzi.